months and years building relationships with our whales. This creates trust, and that allows us to do some amazing things. For example, when you visit the doctor, you present your arm to draw blood, or step on the scale to see how much you weigh. It's much the same with our whales. Throughout today's experience, you'll see our kill whales moving together in unison. These synchronized behaviors allow the whales to strengthen their social bond and problem solve as a group. This is just another reason why they're known as the ocean's top predator. Their scientific name is Orsinus orca. Their common name is the killer whale. Each of all five whales have their own personal names. Our three females, Takara, Sakari, and Tamea, and join us right here before you are males, Tuar, and Kaiyukin. Kamea is the youngest whale in a pod at just eight years old, and her mother, Takara, is the oldest at 31 years old. Now, Takara is the matriarch, which means she is the leader. These whales trust us and take an active role in their health and well-being. Through the use of positive reinforcement training techniques, we're able to teach the whales husbandry or healthcare behaviors. Joining us in the slide are our trainers, Kylan and Kaylin, to help demonstrate just a few of these behaviors. Thanks, Tatiana. I'm over here with 23 year old you are, and he is demonstrating one of the very first behaviors that we train, which is called a fluke present. Now, not only in this position do I get a great view of Tuar's entire body, but I'm also able to get close to the shallow base on the underside of his tail flukes. Our veterinary care staff can come take a blood sample from these veins at least once a month during the whale's monthly physicals. Now, throughout today's presentation, you might see us giving the whales back rubs, belly rubs, or even a big tail massage. Killer whales have extremely sensitive skin. So this is just one of the ways we can build strong relationships with the whales. That's right, Kylan. Hi folks, I'm over here on the other side of the pool, hanging out with the largest member of our killer whale family, Kaiyukit. Drawing blood is just one of the ways we can make sure the whales are staying healthy. Another important diagnostic tool is knowing how much each individual weighs. We weigh the whales once a week by asking onto a killer whale size scale located in one of our adjacent pack pools. Kayukit is going to demonstrate for you right here in the slide out. There you go. Now take a look at the back end of his body. A large portion is still hanging in the water. That is called the peduncle, and it is packed with powerful muscles. It can easily weigh up to several hundred pounds. So in this position, we're actually not able to get an accurate weight. But to solve that problem, we can ask the whales to lift their head and tail into the air, just like this. And that's how we know that as of Tuesday morning, how you get here, was weighing in at 9,590 pounds. It's important to know how much each individual weighs to make sure the younger animals are growing appropriately and the older animals, like how you get here, are maintaining a healthy weight. All of these husbandry behaviors help us to ensure that the whales are healthy and thriving. And the care isn't just physical. Mental stimulation and play are vital. 